so many of you asked. So today I'm giving in and I'm sharing my closet. Hello, I'm so glad you're here, I think. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> I have finally given in to so many requests and I'm going to show you my closet. Now, be warned, my closet is nothing special. We, uh, our closet is situated in our bathroom. That's where we are right now. And it's not a huge bathroom either. Like we're cramped in here with all the lights <laughs> right now that we have in here. But uh, it's a shared closet, me and my husband. And um, let's see, I think our house was built in 1993 in a very middle-class neighborhood. It's a nice home, but I don't think this bathroom has ever been remodeled. So in, what's that, 30 years? Oh my goodness. Maybe we'll do that one of these days, but if we do, this closet will not get any bigger. Uh, so you're gonna see that it's not huge. We share it. My husband and I, I think, have always shared a closet. Pretty sure we always have. And we do pretty well with that. I, it's about a two-third, one-third split, you know, I think probably like most of you. And uh, we keep our own parts. You know, he does his thing, I do mine. He lets me have about as much room as I want or as I need. I do try to keep my closet pretty tidy. It does get all out of wax every now and then, especially on video days, to be real honest. But, and I do just, um, I guess, uh, what would you say, being forthright. <laughs> I do also, of course, have a home office and I do have a closet in there, plus I have a closet in our guest bedroom where I keep really just kind of like blogging things. So like those are mostly things that I have brought home or I've had sent to me to try on, to show, but I'm not really putting them in my closet because there are some things that I show here and on the blog that I don't actually incorporate into my personal wardrobe. And that's just the truth. I'm usually pretty forthright about that if you ask me. And then also there are things that I keep in those closets because, for instance, I keep jeans from almost every store that I work with so that, for instance, if I ever show you a top and some sandals from J. Jill, then I also have some jeans from J. Jill. But I don't wear J. Jill jeans. Normally they're not in my closet because they don't really work very well for me, but I have some. I have some from Chico's, I have some from Madewell. I mean, I have lots of jeans they're in there they're not in here i only have the jeans that i actually wear that i actually love in here all right so today i am going to take you into my closet and show you around a little bit and just tell you how i've organized things and let you see what my closet looks like so let's get going and we're going to move on in there okay so here's just the wide view of my closet and this side is mine. And then the back of the closet is my husband's. And then I have some shelving units on the other side. I'll show you in just a minute. But this whole hanging rack is mine. And you can see it's pretty organized. Now I did come in here and straighten up some hangers <laughs> before um, I let you in, mainly just because James was setting up lighting and stuff like that. And I was just standing here, nothing to do. So I straightened up the hangers a little bit. But really, they were pretty much like this. I didn't change a whole lot because I generally do practice the, you know, when I take something out, I hang something right back up when I'm through wearing it. And so things kind of do stay this way. And when I bring something new into my closet, I take something out. I keep it pretty much like this. It doesn't get really any more crowded than this, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Let me tell you how I've organized it, first of all. So this is on the right, I have my button-up shirts, then I have button-up shirts that are sleeveless. I have a few blouses in here that are uh, have sleeves, yeah, a couple of those for right now. I, you know, it changes too seasonally, obviously. Right here I have a couple of just tops. These are those Eileen, um, or Frank and Eileen tops. They're kind of like a sweatshirt slash top, so I don't really know what to do with those, so they're there. And then we get into long sleeve t-shirts. Just have a couple of those now. Three quarter length t-shirts and tops. Short sleeve t-shirts, I uh, have, I guess, stripes down here, and then I think I have some graphic tees in there, and then they get into solids, black, gray, navy, white. Then I have sweaters. So this is a short sleeve cashmere sweater, this little, uh, you know, nubby sweater shell thing from J. Jill. A couple of sleeveless sweaters from last year. Then I run into tank tops. And see, I've been telling y'all to fill your closet with tank tops. Look at all these tank tops. I have lots of tank tops and I have one on too. So lots of tank tops and the colors 
of my wardrobes as well as uh, neutrals. Let me remind you too, in case you don't know, that um, that I really practice um, the rule of kind of keeping my closet colors narrowed down. So uh, I build a wardrobe each season that I only have a certain number of neutrals and a certain number of what I call signature colors. I call them signature colors, meaning that they're the colors that I've chosen for this particular season. So right now my neutrals, I guess, would be white and this kind of a beige, I guess, and black and maybe a little bit gray, but that's basically it. And then my colors are light pink and a brighter pink and light blue and a darker blue and green, Kelly green. So I think you'll see that the closet pretty much reflects that. There are a few little stray pieces in there from different colors, but for the most part, they're from last year. So, or years before. So I, there's, here's a little yellow tank top, but um, that's from last year or year before, something like that. So, and I just thought, well, why not have it in here? It doesn't take up much space. And then like, you know, I know you saw this um, little top here from Talbot's, but, and it has yellow and orange, which I don't wear, but I do wear the pink. And so it, it, it still works really nicely with my wardrobe. So, okay, well, I was moving past tank tops and I have polo shirts. So this is just a white polo shirt, really like a little golf shirt there. And then I have four nice little ribbed polo shirts that were my top sellers last year actually on the blog and here. Oops, here's a loose hanger. I'm going to pull that out and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, and then let's see, I, then I run into what I did this year is I uh, went ahead and put all my linen, for the most part, I think, in the middle of my closet because that's just what I'm wearing this summer. I'm wearing linen and I actually have on some today. So I went ahead and put like, I have a little linen, kind of a short sleeve uh, sweater cardigan here, t-shirt, linen t-shirts here, linen button up shirts here. I'll tell you why these are hanging here in a minute, but I have like five, I think four uh, button up linen shirts, long sleeve, and then one short sleeve, little linen uh, tanks right here. Then I run into my linen pants. I have a whole lot of those. Uh, I guess about six, looks like six or seven, eight pair here. That's, maybe that's crazy, I don't know. Uh, but then I run into a few cotton pants I did keep in my closet. So my white and Bristol pants here, my black Bristol pants. Then I think we have my travel pants right there, my Talbot's travel pants that I love. A little Talbot's uh, golf pants that I really enjoy. And then I get into, there's my khakis, white jeans, black jeans, blue jeans. Uh, back here has some suit pants and then I have a couple of skirts, my little black sk silk skirt and this little floral, I think that's linen, I'm not sure. I have my, uh, a few things, these linen blazers right here are hung up as suits. So I have uh, the, this is my J. Crew, I think, no, this is the Talbot's, I guess, linen uh, suit. Uh, I think there's some pants in there too and then um, J. Crew linen suit, an Ann Taylor suit here. This is another Talbot's uh, blazer here. Then I have dresses. And so the rest of that's dresses until you get back here is my robes. I have one robe there and the other one must be somewhere <laughs> in the house. And it's not supposed to be there, it's supposed to be right there. So one thing that you see is that I actually I, the hangers I have in here, that's how many clothes I allow in, and I don't allow any more. So I don't know how many this is. I haven't counted, but I have, um, I'll tell you about the kinds of hangers I have, but this is it. This is the limit. These three hangers are from the things I'm wearing today. So let me tell you about these. I have the little skirt and trouser hanger. These are a velvet covered hangers, and I really like these because your clothes stay put on them and they fit into the closet nicely and they stay put in the closet. They don't move around a lot because they're kind of weighted. They're not heavy, but they're kind of weighted. Um, then there is the suit hanger, but it's, it's, so it's not so thick that you can't just hang like sweater tops or just even regular tops and t-shirts. So there's a variety of different things hung on these in my closet. Dresses are also hung on those. And then you have just what's called a shirt top. And this is what I mostly have probably my tank tops on and um, any just lightweight t-shirts and things like that. It's pretty lightweight, but it's not flimsy. It definitely holds those just fine. So those, and that's what I have on today. You know, I have on a little sweater shell that normally goes on the one hanger, my trousers and my 
uh, tank. And so I always hang those hangers of whatever I'm wearing that day. I just put them right here so that I remember to hang this back up if it's not soiled. Actually, James told me my tank top is soiled, so I'm covering that up, but I'll need to put this in the laundry basket, but everything else will get hung up. Now, what happens with those that hanger if I'm not wearing anything on it is, I brought my notes in here so I'd have them to um, show you, but or to tell you what I was wanting to say. So these are just extra hangers over here. So I've laid these over on the shelf. These are the only, so I have two pairs of pants, and either a dress or a jacket or a top could go in here and that's all and if i bring anything beyond these things in here so that means either these things are in the laundry or i really can add something to my closet <laughs> probably they're in the laundry or they're just somewhere else so i put these hangers on, over on this shelf just so that that's where they are and that lets me know i have some spare hangers probably like i said for something in the laundry but i don't add anything else and then let me show you over here the little shelving unit um, you know we have this little shelving unit that you can move around there might be some better ways to do this i don't know right now i see we have some empty spaces that's okay up here on the top i have basically kind of loungewear things i think so right now they're not fitting in my drawers i also don't have huge a huge dresser it's a nice size it's not huge so um, i mostly have exercise clothes in there and of course my undies and you know lingerie and stuff like that and so in here i've put my loungewear uh, pants and all here i have a sweatshirt and another sweatshirt another pair of kind of little active pants that i just couldn't find a place for and then down here i have the pairs of pajamas that i'm wearing right now like i you know, one of them's kind of for hot weather and one of them's for cooler weather. And I've been kind of alternating those as needed. They're just laying there kind of airing out between wears. I usually wear them three or four nights before I put them in the laundry. And then I here I have my exercise clothes. I also generally wear my exercise clothes probably two or three days before I put them in the laundry. But here they can kind of air out and get a little fresher between wears. You know, I have belts hanging here. I have shoes down here on these racks and on the floor. But the ones that are on the floor, for the most part, are tucked under the other ones. Um, and somebody asked me once before, like they, I guess I showed pictures of my closet and they saw that I had shoes on top of other shoes. Like, don't they get everything dirty? Well, I don't bring dirty shoes into my closet. So if they're dirty, I'm gonna clean them off before I bring them in here. I don't bring dirty shoes in here. Um, so, and then I have some shoes in these little shelves down here. The only shoes out on the floor are my exercise shoes, my running shoes, and my bedroom slippers that I have here for easy, easy access. And then these sandals I have on probably have a space somewhere down here, um, <clears throat> or they go in my, I'll be honest, some shoes are in my office <laughs> because that's just kind of part of the business I'm in is I have to have a lot of shoes, more shoes than I probably would normally have. And so a lot of shoes are in my office. Let me real quickly tell you what's up top because there are no secrets here, no skeletons in my closet. So up here, but it's not, this is nothing fancy. This is just real life. Over here I have, it looks like um, my jewelry bag and my cosmetic bag that I travel with. Here I have my hair dryer and a curling or another wand that I really don't ever use hardly, but there it is. Here I have shorts. These are just four pairs of shorts. Uh, like I said, I didn't put them in my drawers because there just wasn't room. So they're just here nicely. And then this is all my sweaters that I've been wearing this spring. All These are all just cotton sweaters. And I've decided to not put them away yet because we are going to Maine. And then we may go some other places where it's cool. And I just like having access to them. So, uh, and of course this one is sleeveless. And some of them are lightweight enough to even, I've worn them even like just this week I wore them. So that's where the sweaters are. So I did want to share with you just a few tips as you can see this is just nothing fancy but but i honestly do uh, i think my husband would tell you i keep it fairly clean like i said there are times when it just gets a little haywire but for the most part i'm i have to because of my job because i'm constantly bringing clothes in and you know, to show you and to put together outfits for here and for the blog i really have to be tight with myself and i have to be really careful about keeping my closet clean or it could just 
then it gets out of control and then I don't know what I have and I need to know. So one thing I would suggest is that you take things out of your closet that you don't wear. And by that, I don't necessarily mean get rid of them or you know pass them on even, but I take things and I do put things, like I, took a, I have a few dresses that I actually love, but I'm probably not gonna have time to wear them this summer because I have these other newer dresses and they're the ones that fit my color schematic here. So I've put those dresses in the guest bedroom closet um, if you don't have another closet to put those things in, then maybe get a bin to put under a bed or something where you just put things that you truly want to keep, you truly love them, they're not going anywhere, but you just don't want to wear them right now. And the reason I say that is because you don't want to get this so crowded that you can't look through it in the morning or you can't work with it. So I do take things out that I'm not going to wear that season. Second tip is to organize your closet in a way that makes sense to you. So sometimes I've done it like I've done here by different types of clothing and then colors. But this time, like I said, I took all my linen and put it here in the middle just because that made sense to me. I did not want to have to hunt for these linen button-up shirts among my other button-up shirts. I didn't want to look for my linen tanks among my other tanks. I wanted to know where all that linen was. So I put it there. So just think about what you wear, how you wear your wardrobe and what makes sense to you, and, but organize it in a way that's gonna function for you. My third tip is to use uniform hangers. And by that, I mean hangers that are all the same because um, I could show you my husband's part of the closet, but I won't do that because he doesn't use, or he uses all the leftovers, right? He uses all the hangers that I dump on him so that I can use the same hangers. <laughs> so anyhow, it, it makes a difference. You know, it makes a difference in the way things hang up. This way I can see them. They just make more sense. I'm not, I'm not looking at hangers. The hangers, it just looks neat. I can see my clothes this way. It just really makes sense to me. And it helps me to keep uh, tabs of what I have and where I have holes and where I, it, it, but also lets me know that don't bring any more in here. For instance, if I bring something home from a store and it's on a hanger, well, it's got to come off of that hanger and go into my closet in one of these hangers. And if I can't do that, then I don't get to do that. I, I don't get to bring something in here. So that helps me to keep my closet a little bit tighter. My fourth tip is to practice that one in, one out rule. That really helps me. And in fact, a lot of people say, especially if you're trying to pare your closet down, to practice the one in, two out rule. <laughs> and that would help you to shrink your closet a little bit. So that might be something you wanna do if you are indeed trying to pare down your wardrobe is to start doing that. Bring one in, get rid of two. But I'm pretty good at just doing one in, one out. And like I said, sometimes that means I actually donate or pass that one item on that I'm getting out. Other times it does mean that I simply pack it up and put it in our guest bedroom in the closet or under the bed or something. So it doesn't necessarily mean I'm taking it out of my house altogether. And then my fifth tip would simply be to review your closet occasionally. I actually do, because of my job, I do come in here probably at least once a month, maybe more like once every two weeks, and just look through the entire closet from you know right to left and pull anything. I just call anything that I've not been wearing or that I'm thinking, wait a minute, I've got duplicates of this. I don't need two of these. So I just really do call pretty frequently. I reorganize if I need to. Um, and that also just reminds me, oh, here's this and I haven't worn it for a while. Let's get that out and put that into an outfit. And sometimes if I do that, like I may go, oh, I haven't worn this shirt in a while and I'll pull it out here, put it on a hanger. And then that reminds me to wear it maybe later in the week. Uh, I don't do a whole lot of that because I don't want a bunch of things hanging out here, but I do um, try to go through and see what have I been missing out on that I could wear this week. So you saw my closet, <laughs> you saw there are no skeletons in there and there really aren't a whole lot of secrets either. Yeah, especially now I've let the cat out of the bag, right? So just a normal woman closet shared with her husband. Uh, but I think I do a pretty good job of keeping it organized. I hope that was inspiring in some way to you or maybe just entertaining. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, ladies, thanks so much for joining me. I'll have links to these hangers in the description box below. Otherwise, let me know if you saw something. I will sh share uh, links to, I don't know anything I have on that might be available. I'm not really sure there is. I'll share links to my, my nail polish and my lipstick. How's that? In the description box below. Thanks for dropping in. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Thanks. See you later.